Ethiopia, with its rich history dating back thousands of years, has been home to remarkable achievements in engineering and infrastructure. In this video, we explore a new wave of infrastructural projects that is defining a new era for Ethiopia. From hydroelectric power initiatives to industrial parks and transportation links, these mega projects signify Ethiopia's continuous dedication to progress and innovation. Join us on this journey as we delve into the details of these transformative projects that are poised to shape the future of Ethiopia. The Tanabel Multipurpose Project The Tanabel Multipurpose Project is a hydroelectric and irrigation initiative in Ethiopia. Its main goal is to transfer water from Lake Tana, the largest lake in Ethiopia, to the Belize River, a tributary of the Nile. The project aims to generate electricity, offer irrigation water, and control the flow of the Nile River. It comprises four key components. A dam on Lake Tana to manage water flow into the Belize River, a tunnel connecting the two bodies of water, a hydroelectric power facility on the Belize River and a canal system for distributing water to fields along the Belize River. The anticipated outcomes of the project include the production of 460 MDU of electricity, sufficient to power over 2 million homes. Additionally, the project is expected to provide irrigation water to more than 140,000 hectares of land, contributing to increased agricultural output and reducing Ethiopia's reliance on food imports. The initiative is also forecasted to have positive environmental impacts by regulating the Nile River's flow, minimizing the risk of flooding and drought. Furthermore, the project aims to create a new wetland environment along the Valley's River, serving as a habitat for birds and other wildlife. The Mata Sugar Factory the Mata Sugar Factory, located approximately 200 kilometers northeast of Addis Ababa in Ethiopia's Amhara region, is a prominent large-scale sugar processing plant. Boasting a substantial capacity of 136,000 tons of sugar annually, it stands as one of Ethiopia's largest sugar factories. The factory, established in collaboration between the Ethiopian Sugar Corporation (ESC) and the Chinese construction company Husan Group, commenced operations in 1971, a year after its inauguration in 19. Beyond sugar production, the Mata Sugar Factory plays a multifaceted role by generating ethanol, power, and various byproducts. The factory holds significant economic sway in the Amhara region, serving as a major employer with both direct and indirect employment opportunities for approximately 10,000 individuals. Moreover, it acts as a vital market for local farmers who cultivate sugar cane. The factory's impact extends beyond the local job market. It is a key player in international trade. Mata Sugar Factory exports sugar to countries such as Sudan, Kenya, and Somalia, contributing substantially to Ethiopia's economic prosperity through these exports. Besides its economic contributions, the factory is anticipated to foster positive social changes. In addition to employing and training local residents, the Mata Sugar Factory actively supports the development of schools and clinics in the region. The Choga Hydropower Project It is a significant endeavor in Ethiopia's Amhara region, aiming to establish a 280 megawatt hydroelectric power facility along the Chaga River. Spearheaded by the Ethiopian Electric Power Corporation, this project is set to be completed by 2026. Comprising three essential components, a dam, a reservoir, and an electric plant, the Chaga Hydropower Project is designed to address Ethiopia's growing demand for electricity. The dam, standing at a height of 120 meters, is a concrete gravity dam creating a reservoir with a capacity of 325 million cubic meters. The power facility will be equipped with two Pelton turbines, boasting a combined capacity of 280 megawatts. Beyond meeting the country's increasing electricity needs, the project aims to contribute to Ethiopia's efforts to reduce reliance on imported fossil fuels. The Aludo Langano Geothermal Power Plant. This is situated in the Ethiopian Rift Valley near the Aludo Volcano within the RC region, approximately 200 kilometers south of Addis Ababa, the capital city. The primary objective of this plant is to generate electricity by harnessing geothermal energy, which is recognized as a clean and sustainable source of power in Ethiopia, aligning with the country's renewable energy goals. The process involves tapping into the Earth's internal heat through geothermal wells, allowing access to hot water and steam reservoirs beneath the surface. The high-pressure steam derived from this process drives turbines and generators, producing energy. The capacity of the plant is designed to range from tens to hundreds of megawatts, contingent upon the number of wells and turbines installed. The electricity generated is integrated into Ethiopia's national grid. Geothermal energy is considered environmentally friendly compared to fossil fuel-based power generation, as it results in lower greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution. Moreover, in comparison to large-scale hydroelectric dams, the 
Aluto Langano geothermal power plant has a reduced impact on local ecosystems. This underscores its role in contributing to cleaner and more sustainable energy practices in Ethiopia. The MCK Industrial Park It is situated in Ethiopia's Tigray region, a multi-sectoral industrial park, and is among the 13 active industrial parks in the country. Spanning 75 hectares, the park was inaugurated in 2017 with the aim of attracting both domestic and international investors, particularly in the textile and clothing, agro-processing, and other light manufacturing industries. Investors at MCK Industrial Park can take advantage of various incentives, including tax savings, duty-free imports, and access to trained personnel, anticipated to generate over $400 million in income annually and create more than 20,000 job opportunities, the MCK Industrial Park is expected to make a significant impact on Ethiopia's economic landscape. Moreover, it is poised to enhance Ethiopian exports and contribute to the country's broader industrialization efforts. As a sustainable investment in Ethiopia's future, the MCK Industrial Park has the potential to bring noteworthy economic, social, and environmental benefits to the region. Guide 4, also known as GIV Dam. This is a prominent hydroelectric generating plant situated on the Omo River in Ethiopia. It stands as the largest among the J dams on the Omo River and is located in the Oromia region, approximately 400 kilometers southwest of Addis Ababa. Operating as a run of river dam, Guide 4 utilizes the natural flow of the river to generate electricity and has an impressive capacity of 2200 megawatts, making it the largest hydroelectric plant in Ethiopia. Constructed by the Chinese company Sino Hydro, the dam was completed in 2016 and began commercial operation in 2017. GIV Dam plays a crucial role as Ethiopia's primary energy source, producing enough electricity to power over 10 million homes. Additionally, it serves as an irrigation source for farmers in the Omo River Basin. The Lamu Port Ethiopia Transport Link This transport link is an ambitious East African transportation and logistics initiative that involves the development of a comprehensive network comprising roads, railroads, oil pipelines, and airports. The primary objective is to connect Kenya's new Lamu Port to South Sudan and Ethiopia, making it one of Africa's major infrastructural projects. The estimated cost of the project exceeds $23 billion and it is anticipated to span over 20 years for completion. Collaboratively, Kenya, South Sudan and Ethiopia are spearheading the project, with support from the African Union and other international partners. This ambitious project is expected to have a significant impact on the economies of Kenya, South Sudan and Ethiopia. The Addis Ababa Adama Expressway This is a crucial connection between two of Ethiopia's vital cities. Addis Ababa, the nation's capital and largest city, is linked to Adama, a significant regional hub by this import highway. The expressway plays a pivotal role in facilitating the movement of people, goods and services between these cities. Stretching for approximately 84 kilometers, the expressway typically takes one to two hours to traverse, depending on traffic conditions. Users of the expressway are required to pay tolls for access, and these tolls contribute to funding the maintenance and operation of the highway. Designed as a dual carriageway, the expressway features two separate highways, each with multiple lanes running in opposite directions. This layout is instrumental in enhancing traffic flow and safety. Beyond its physical design, the expressway brings substantial economic benefits by improving freight transportation, particularly between Addis Ababa and the Adaman Industrial Park, as well as other industrial districts. It serves as a catalyst for industrialization, trade, and commerce. And there you have it, a glimpse into the monumental infrastructural projects shaping Ethiopia's future. Now, let me know in the comments which project resonated with you the most. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Thank you for joining us. Until next time.